That's a lot of nuts! Let me ask you guys a question. Would you consider me your favorite YouTuber? It's an unfair question. There's so many creators on this platform. Your favorite's probably like Markiplier or one of the big boys, right? I'll be more specific, okay? Um, am I your favorite Asian YouTuber who loves video games and memes? That's gotta be me. It's still Markiplier, really. His, his mom is Korean and I guess he does love video games and memes. Okay, that's fair. I walked into that one. How about this though? How about this though? Am I your favorite Asian YouTuber who loves video games and memes and has made an extensive video analyzing the Pokemon which he finds the most sexually attractive? That's gotta be me. Come on. It's still Markiplier? So Markiplier posts a video about a month ago titled Smash or Pass All 898 Pokemon in which he Smashes or passes all 898, it's in the, it's very self-explanatory of a video. Basically, he goes through this entire video. Why am I explaining? You understand what the video is. Am I upset that it seems as though Markiplier has had this idea to talk about what Pokemon he finds the most smashable many moons after I posted a video talking about what Pokemon I find the most smashable? No. Of course not. If anything, I feel great because it means the idea I had that I thought made for a good video, Markiplier also thought made for a good video, and he's a much better YouTuber than I am, so that means I'm doing a good job. Am I a little bit upset that he passed on every single one of the evolutions? Yes, a tiny bit, but what I'm really upset about is the overwhelming positivity that Markiplier is being met for basically the same idea that I had for the video. In the comments, he's being called innovative and brave and courageous for sharing his thoughts on all these Pokemon. Meanwhile, while I was talking about how great it would be to feel the self-moisturizing body of a Vaporeon, I was called a degenerate for six months in a row. Where's the consistency is my point. Someone on Twitch was reacting to YouTube videos one day and my Vaporeon video got recommended in his chat. He made it 30 seconds into the video and then said, oh no, this is disgusting. I'm not watching the rest of this. Which is fair. I mean, you don't gotta like everything I do, but I mean, you know, I put a lot of work into these videos. It'd be nice if somebody watched them. Markiplier does basically the same thing and the game theorist does a video making him the perfect Pokemon, combining all the ones that he smashed into this ultimate fantasy Pokemon just for Markiplier? Like, I'd like a fraction of that. So Matt Pat naturally watched this Markiplier video. I mean, everybody watched this Markiplier video. It even got its own meme. Pass. 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 Only a very small number of the nearly 800 Pokemon that Markiplier went through he actually said would smash. The game theorist, having nothing better to do, decided to hire a graphic designer to combine assets of every single one of these Pokemon to make Markiplier his dream smashable Pokemon and it's, it's basically the cat from Onkazone. Right, am I being biased because it's a meme that I enjoyed? This is literally, it's just a purple version of the cat from the Anka Zone that, I mean, like I'm not complaining, but like, right? Listen, maybe, maybe I can't really be upset that Markiplier did so well with this video idea. I mean, I was gonna do something way more similar, but instead of Pokemon, it was the characters from Persona 4 Golden, and I just never ended up making the video. Pass. 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 Pass, 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 pass. Transition! Listen, we spent a lot of time talking about German marijuana culture and their famous caves full of blunt smoking, but- Oh no, little German boy, don't go into the meat grinder. Oh my God, tripping off the beef kinda, tripping off the meat grinder, heat niner, pimpin' stripping soft sweet niner. Over in Japan, they have a similar children's anime show that's also used to promote marijuana usage known as Smokemon. Now, we can smash and pass Pokemon all day, Lord knows I am, but if you had to pick one Pokemon to smoke, who do you think it would be? 
I know initially you might be thinking Bulbasaur. I mean, look at the leaves on the boy, and even the evolved versions look like they would be an excellent strand of Smokemon, or maybe a bell, sp a, a weeping sprout, the, the one that looks like a bong. Maybe one of these things? No, the correct answer is of course Weed Cat. They didn't think of a really great name for this one. They just went with Weed Cat, which I thought was bold. Listen, Pokemon isn't exactly the fantastic plethora of design that it was back in like Gen 1. I mean, we all know the Pokemon designs have gotten not very creative over the years. For example, take a look at Pineco, the Pinecone Pokemon, or Seal. Just, just a seal. Like, they really, they really did nothing with that. It's not quite as bad as something like Ekans, which is a snake, and the name is Snake backwards. Okay, maybe even in Gen 1 they weren't fantastic, but for the starters in the upcoming Pokemon games, they thought, hey, we need a grass-type Pokemon that is a cat. Perhaps we could stick a leaf on a cat's face and we'll call it Sprigatito. It's not a terrible design. The issue with the design is if you make a green Pokemon that's got a leaf on its face, it's gonna become the mascot for marijuana culture enthusiasts everywhere. I mean, that's literally what it spits out. Plus, we went with Sprigatito as a name, Sprigatito. I have exactly one guess as to what Louis Fonsi song you guys were listening to when you designed this one. Sprigatito, 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 Sprigatito. Transition. Listen, I think I just have to accept that at this point it's going to be impossible to get through an episode of the Sumeto Media Show without touching on Yu-Gi-Oh memes. It's like enveloped my entire personality. I, I mean, I was already sort of a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, but something about re-watching it recently has really brought up a sense of nostalgia. You remember back when it aired on WB Kids and they would have these weird bumpers, they would make like commercials for like Burger King and stuff, but they would have the real voice actors for the show playing the characters. What an incredible misuse of budget. What'll it be? Hmm, do I want the burger or the chicken? Chicken, chicken. I'll get the burger. Fine, make it with cheese. With cheese? Do you want onions? Yes. No, I mean no. And don't forget the ketchup. Yu-Gi-Oh. Speak of old Yu-Gi-Oh memes, you guys remember that duel of that fat Asian guy activating three blasting ruins to hit his opponent for 9,000 points of life damage in exactly one turn? I will never forget those hand gestures. My turn is over. Three blasting ruins. Get fucked, kid. I don't know why you're laughing, dude. You're getting your ass kicked I'm over here. because you guys are laughing. Oh, to draw the final really two cards of my deck. <laughs> Setting three cards face down. You know you got four darks My turn is over. Body. Activate three blasting the ruins. <laughs> <laughs> hater skeletons. What? Sumeto hater skeletons? I've never heard of this meme. Can you relax? You think I just say a meme and then not go into what the meme is? That's the only thing I do here. Have some patience. My point is, hater skeletons. From episode two of the anime adaptation of Berserk, they come from an episode where Guts is having a nightmare, being blamed for the death of his father for not also having died. Listen, I'm reading an explanation of it. I haven't actually watched the episode, so I don't know. My point is this looping gif of skeletons has been made into the most prolific hate mob on the internet to date. It's a bold claim, but I dare you to think of something else. Number 15, shut the fuck up. I know this meme seems kind of out of nowhere, but I saw this clip on Twitter of this like VTuber character, cartoon character, who apparently is a prolific streamer, uh, doing a Q&A on his TikTok, intercut with these skeletons, just hating on the kid. And it's like, kind of funny. Reading my horrible hate comments. You won't buy me Robux, I hate you. No, do, do you know how expensive Robux are? I'm not buying you Robux. You're a poopy head. Dude didn't even spell poopy right. Hey, this you? I mean, he's kind of cute. From now on, I'm not even going to spread any hate. I'm not posting L plus ratio. I'm not saying nobody asked. From now on, if I don't like you, I'm just responding with skeleton. Come on, man. Femdom waifu VR. Who on earth would play this? Oh, hey, uh, uh, I gotta go. So uh, thanks for watching the video. Remember to like, remember to click confirm after you hit the unsubscribe button. Big shout out to the boys over on Patreon for helping me buy Steam games. Not not any Steam games in particular, um, but Steam games. It's, it's really appreciated. I'll catch you guys in next week's video. Spisu!